peace and all good things. You know, around this year, unfortunately, it may seem a little bit early, but we begin to see a lot of decorations for Christmas, at least in stores. And uh, very soon, the mall Santa will be uh, coming to the mall near us. And very oftentimes, when I think of God, sometimes I think of Santa. Insofar as God is sometimes for me someone that I go to and like sitting on Santa's lap, tell him what I want, what I need. And I think that this is, in a certain sense, good. God does tell us that we should come and, and bring our needs and intentions coming to God for help, trusting in God's love and mercy. And this is something very positive. And God does hear and answer our prayers. However, really one of the lines from one of the most famous prayers of St. Francis uh, when he prayed before the cross of San Damiano, he said, Most high glorious God, enlighten the darkness of my heart. This was the prayer of St. Francis, that St. Francis didn't see God as Santa Claus. If you will, this is what I want, please give it to me. Now, obviously, yes, we he did obviously uh, have intercessions for various needs. But rather at the, at the heart of the prayer of St. Francis and St. Francis' prayer life and relationship with God was simply that our hearts are darkened. We can't understand everything that's going on in our life and our world today. We can't understand why so many people have died during this global pandemic. We cannot understand why different sufferings happen in our lives each day, why people lose jobs, people get sick. Different things happen in the world today. You just have to watch the news. And while on the one hand, yes, we can say, please, God, help us, you know, stop the pandemic heal us, help us to have a job, whatever the case may be, and that is good, I think that maybe we can also have this prayer of St. Francis. That simply, you know what, God? I don't quite know how, what to make all of this, out of all this. This makes no sense. I know that uh, I need something. But instead of me telling you exactly what it is, can you please enlighten my heart? I feel as though I'm in darkness. I don't know. I can't make sense out of this. Can you please show me what is best? Could you please show me your presence, your fingerprints on what is going on in our lives, our world today? Because somehow nothing, nothing is outside of God's plan, God's will, and separated from the love of God. So today, maybe we can just have that prayer as well as asking God for what we need to enlighten the darkness of our hearts, to show us his presence in our lives, our world today, especially those places that we may see as, as dark. And may God give us that faith, hope, and love to continue to follow his will, no matter where it will take us. Thank you.